Hey guys, it's your girl Jazz here, and I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail in this video. So first you want to download an app called Fonto, and this is where we're going to make a thumbnail. So we want to start with a plain image, and you can choose, you can make it any color. We're just going to choose black for the purposes of this video. And basically we want it to fit the require the size requirements that YouTube has. So scrolling down, I don't see any of them that fit the requirements. So we're going to go to custom. And basically, YouTube says that our thumbnail must be 1280 by 720. And that's the perfect size of a thumbnail. So that's what we want. So we're going to select that. And this is going to be our template. So anything that you put on this template is going to automatically be okay for the size of a thumbnail so i guess for this video we're gonna um, make a thumbnail saying how to make a thumbnail and they have lots and lots of features i mean you they have tons of fonts to choose from i'm just gonna pick a random one preferably that's easy to read because if people can't read what the thumbnail says they're not likely to click on it so we could hit style and then there is where we customize the the words we could pick any color i'm gonna pick blue and then we can go over to stroke that means how is the outline gonna be the thickness the color of the outline really anything to make it pop and this is where you can do anything you want make it look any way you can have plenty of vibes I'll put a background behind it um, usually I do this if the image is very busy and you can't really read the words sometimes it's easier to put a background behind it but for this video I'm not gonna do that then we can go over to style and put a shadow on behind the words this definitely helps add depth and dimension to the words it really sticks out and pops out in a way that it doesn't look as flat um, as compared to without the shadow i i personally add this to all the words it just really creates a pop to it and again you can put it in any color you want and you can space it out far or close you know you could do a lot of things and really the overall point is to make the words pop because this is the first thing people are going to see before they even watch your video is your thumbnail so your thumbnail definitely has to catch the eye and people have to want to click on it this is really great for that oh and the thing that i like about this is that you don't have to type the whole sentence and do it all at once i mean you can literally type in each word individually and make it all different types of fonts and and place them as you see fit it doesn't have to be like in a sentence you can kind of be be creative and put it in any way you see fit you can definitely play with the size and the colors you see here i'm picking different colors just to make it all pop definitely want to think about complementary colors um, and analogous colors these things are really gonna draw attention to the words to the thumbnail and I definitely want thumbnail to be the center of attention on this thing so I do like this font that I chose and what better color neon green it's perfect what stands out brighter than neon green i'll wait <laughs> and then oh my gosh this is really coming along like this app is so helpful and the more you play around with it the easier and faster you can do it Ooh, like this this is nice this looks like a little 90s retro theme happening i like these colors definitely gonna keep that That's nice. Mm -hmm. And then I want this to be real big. Well, bigger than it is. That way you can really 
get the main idea of the video just from the thumbnail or at least hints or clues um but if you do want to add images like snapchat logos or any type of images from the internet you you can go to google and type in whatever the image is and then type in transparent and basically it's going to pull up an image that you typed in but with a transparent background meaning that there's no white behind it when you when you copy and paste it on there's not going to be all the white behind it it's just going to be that image alone and the best way to tell that you picked the right image is if you can see the little grid behind it there should be some squares and that's how you know you picked the transparent image so then you want to save that and then you can go back to the app and then you know add image and copy and paste that image onto your template and look at that look look how the image is just the logo itself it's not white it doesn't look like i copy and pasted it's just a logo and then i wanted to find an arrow so it could look like click subscribe sort of thing oh found one right there and, and sometimes the images overlap that's fine sometimes you can use that to your advantage um sometimes you have to move things out of the way just to click on another part of the image but that's fine you could just work with it and basically I guess the idea here is I want to do like a click subscribe type of thing and so I don't want this arrow facing straight up so I sort of want to tilt it diagonally so that it gives it more character yeah just like that just the corner look at that like we just made a thumbnail and how easy was that and how quick did that take it doesn't have to take an hour it could take like 10 minutes and you can keep adding and adding i want to put subscribe on there so it's a little bit more obvious you know just put some red put a little outline on it so it can give it some dimension and then put a, a little shadow behind it so it could pop a little bit more stand out from the background a little bit more make it real small and put it right up there mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh yeah and you can also use the move button to move the images around if you can't tap and drag it but you know this is pretty simple not too difficult um, and again, you can create anything and you can just save image and it'll save straight to your phone. And then sometimes you can even upload the thumbnail straight from your phone to YouTube itself. Like you don't have to, you know, send it somewhere, whatever. Oh, and I also forgot if you wanted to add like non-conventional images, like certain memes or stuff literally type in what the image is and then transparent so i want a hand holding an iphone transparent click on images and lo and behold all these options who would have known that there would have been a lot of options for hands holding an iphone as random as it is, I still was able to find an image. So I'm going to keep scrolling until I find a good one. Oh, that's good. And see how it got the squares behind it? That's how you know it's transparent. So then we can save it. And then we can go back to the app. And yes, there are ads. That's fine. Just click them out the way. We'll be fine. And then we can reset that and sometimes you can go to restore previous image and that keeps the same template that you've been working on and basically you can just drag all the extra stuff off of the template 
and then use that instead of having to go back every time and create a new template you can just drag the stuff off and you're back to a blank canvas and then you can drag your new items onto the new template so i'm gonna grab that old thumbnail we just saved and now this new picture and we're gonna add that and i'm gonna enlarge it right here in the corner boom oh also key tip make sure the image is not bigger than a template because whatever is leaning over the edges of the template will not be saved will not be shown and then your thumbnail will be messed up so whatever it is that you're putting on the thumbnail make sure it fits within the parameters of the template that is very important and you see how it overlaps that's okay because sometimes you can use it to your advantage so you see how i can tap the hand and it's over the how to and so it creates an image and it looks seamless and then i'm gonna i'm just gonna add using iphone because i forgot that part earlier i'm just gonna pick a random font nope not that one because you could barely read it put something that's cute mm. let's see okay this one's nice so we're just gonna add that down there and i'm gonna make it really small that that's gonna be kind of like a ps da, 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 da. but it's gonna be like using your iphone <laughs> so yeah making it pop let's use some red reds and greens really really do pop so i've learned but again you can use any color you want it could be thematic you could have it all pink you could have it all yellow um yeah that's really up to you just being creative at this point and Whatever stylistic approach you want to have, you can do that. So, boom, there we go. Add that right under the thumbnail. Look how colorful this is. And again, you didn't even have to use a black background. You can use a bright orange background if that's what you want. And you can use emojis. This is how you can put emojis on your pictures. When you click on add tech, instead of typing in words, you can type in emojis. And that's basically how you can complete a thumbnail, really. And save it to your pictures, and this is what you turn out with. Thank you so much for watching. This was a very highly requested video. I hope this helps answer some of your questions. And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. And until next time, stay awesome.